vessel. Let strength be grant so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. What up, Internet? I'm Young Guru, and welcome back to Demon Souls. Oop, and we're on the run. We got items to get. We got blue eyed sentinels to kill. And we got a ball, a trap ball to deal with. Punched. Okay, so I just cannot kill you in one hit. Gaddy. Um, oh, I missed the. Oh, danger. Missed the other item, which I think is if you drop down here. Can I not get to that? Did I simply walk by it? Oh, that's not, okay. Stairs up here, instead of doing a U-turn, I kept going up. That explains it to half moon grass. Heal. Get a bow out. Shoot down the trap boulders. Oh, quickly now, quickly, catch up. So this is a really cool trap. If you don't catch that, there are archers here. Ooh, a second mail breaker. Delightful. That will shoot at you, and if you take all the arrows on the chest, you're fine. If you let one get by you by a dodge, it'll hit that, unleash the trap on you. Um, that's where we're going eventually. It's the bridge. And we got two dragons over there. Very fun. We'll have fun with them later. And then we are here. Whoa. Hey, buddies. I hate spear guys. So, spear guy. Oh, my lord. Doing this wrong. I don't remember how to play the game. Where... Let me just roll through you. I'm gonna shoot you with arrows, buddy. You get an arrow, and your friend gets an arrow, everybody gets an arrow. To the knee. Half moon grass. Alright. We gotta avoid. No, we're not. We're gonna unleash the fury over here first. Get some free kills. Here's my dragon. Come on, dragon. You gotta go. There we go. Clear out that path for me. Then we gotta head over here. I'll do some fancy editing. Because we're gonna kill the dragon. Maybe not kill it. But do substantial damage to it. Yeah, buddy. I love that mountain structure. It's, I don't think the first I've noticed it. Very cool. What oh, did he? I was like, if he just leaves like that, that's amazing. So I don't recommend actually doing this, but it kind of helps. For dealing with uh, getting the flame plate ring, which is the only one I really want. Slow and steady wins the race. This also, I think, is impossible unless you buy arrows. Um, I think 50 is not enough to do the job. And there you have it. You do like. 80% of its HP, it'll fly away. And it will stay away until you return to the Nexus, I believe. Which is quite nice. Shard of Archstone, Full Moon Grass. Okay, now let's see. I think I should be able to get the Flame Plate Ring, but nothing else. Also, right here, it's where the Phalanx boss is. 
actually right there. That's the room after the phalanx, and then the bridge over to Boletaria. Interesting. The lower path doesn't really seem to be shown. Oh, no, no. It's, it's right there. It's just barely underneath. Okay. Interesting. The first time I came up here on my first playthrough, I had no clue that that's the bridge we were going to eventually be on. Um, but now I do, because I played the game before, already. Full moon grass. So this is still dangerous. You cannot kill that dragon. And it swings its tail to and fro. Purple flame shield. Oh, I don't like this at all. I think the flame plate ring's gonna be inside. Ring of flame resistance roll! And we're dead. I, there's probably a way to do that. Without dying, and it probably involves getting to the second zone. But I wasn't gonna do that. I wasn't going to wait around, so I will run back there. Not too hard to get back there. There's a quick way to do it. Um, and I will catch you on the flip side. All right, we have returned, and as you can see, the red dragon is still nowhere to be seen. And our souls have been retrieved. Just enough souls for it to matter. Though in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter that much at all. What's 2k souls? This is going to be a long episode. Um, I probably should have cut it off right after Astrava. But I was foolish and wanted to do the whole thing in one go. So that's just the way it's going to be. Wow. Wow, game. Equip the bow. Equip the bow. Who's this fool? Just waiting to get shot in the face, apparently. Also running low on crescent moon grass. Remember when I said grass was so plentiful it became pointless? I could be lying. And just y'all are in a straight line getting shot to death. Oh look at that slowdown. Ooh. There we go. That's that's your bow action for the day. And we're gonna go back to double mail breakers. Picked up a third on the way back here. I'm curious if that enemy is just guaranteed to drop a mail breaker, maybe. A boop unknown soldier's soul. Oh, let's not forget to pull the lever. And off we go with a little bit of fear in our brains from seeing a giant spear come out of nowhere. I haven't demonstrated this. When you two, oh, the mail breaker, you don't. Never mind. When I get an actual dagger weapon, I'll demonstrate it. The two handed 
heavy attack is quite impressive. We're here. Now he just kind of took that like a champion. I'm like delaying on my second attack. I don't know if I'm missing a button input or what is going on. You gonna make the same mistake? You are. I will take it. Can I? Nope. Okay. We're just gonna do that normally. I can't get over top of him. Um, the tutorial, I didn't really demonstrate this, but weak attack it bounces. Two handed attack, you don't bounce. Um, the tutorial has you go up against the blue eye. You're likely going to bounce off its shield, but then it gives you a note that says, Hey, why don't you try uh, holding with both hands? And then you go up against the second blue eye, and theoretically you have learned that your weapon won't bounce. Wow, that tracking. Yes, my sharp stone. Give me all of it. Man, no good. Oh, I did get up behind him, though. Delightful. Hardstone, boo. I can't complain, actually. I need to get my bow to plus three, which I think is another ten hardstone. And I should be sitting at five, so that's actually not too bad. Ooh. I did indeed run past all these fools. Uh -huh. And in we go. Throw our fire bombs to make quick work of Phalanx. I should deal with all the stray ones first. Oh. You know what? Oh my god, I have the wrong things equipped. Turpentine Chaser, come on. There we go. Uh, turpentine. Let's get ourselves up to full HPs. And we will go and get the stragglers. This game does suffer from horrific frame rates. I can't wait for this game to come out on PC one day. It would be the best thing ever. I wonder if one heavy attack is enough. Oh, you bastards. You want to make sure you get it in with a bunch of people. Ah, uh, Crescent Moon. Get the most out of those while they're still useful. That wasn't fantastic. Ah, uh, Turpentine, come back. So I think you can't actually kill all of these, but you can get it to a point where the regeneration rate is so slow that you never see another one for a while. Could be wrong though, maybe there is a finite number. You do want to kill them all though, because they have a chance to drop shards of hard stone and sharp stone. And at this point in the game, that is super helpful. So it's very much worthwhile to exhaust 100% of the phalanx. As we can see, they're mostly gone. I actually don't know if you kill the main boss if the free roaming phalanx side, phalanx, whatever you call them, would um, die or not. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to kill them all. Hey, buddy, come here. Poke you. Can't quite get behind him. It's 
frustrating. to the fall. Now let's do a quick run around. See if anybody's free. Who's been running away from me? Who's been running away from me? Okay. Come on now. 38. What's my bow do against this fool? Come on now. Okay, yeah. We're gonna pepper him with bolts of arrows. Not too tough of a boss. They give you all the equipment you need leading up to it. The demon was destroyed. You shall obtain the demon soul and a power that is beyond human imagination. And we have finally revived. We can make the world harder. But also by killing the boss. Shard of Hearthstone. Sharpstone. Nice. We have pushed the world towards white tendency. It's very exciting. So basically, you become human... And if you die once, um, you've undone the benefit of killing the boss. Controlling world tendency. Getting it to all black is very easy if you have the items. Uh, getting it to pure white is a little more difficult, to say the least. We'll pick up the lead demon's soul, and we will end the episode here. May or may not have cut this in two to make it a little more manageable, because it's kind of long. But for now, I'm Young Guru. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.